with you. And I would like to um, thank you all for being faithful in the church while Gordon and I were, were away because you are not faithful to me. You are faithful to God who has called you in this place. Amen? Amen. Amen. So um, I'm going to wait for Gordon. <laughs> Okay, this is the um, main church of P Bishop Samson. Um, he started with just one lady praying with him and his wife. Um, that was many years ago, maybe I think about eight years ago. And they prayed and they prayed. Today they have about 500 members. So it was uh, something to be in his church. Okay, so go on to the next slide. Um, this is the children ministry that they have, and I, w I, I was suddenly called to minister, and I, w I was kind of sh shocked. <laughs> so, so what I did was I taught them a Malay song, and they were so fascinated with the Malay song. And I tell you, the Indians can really s pronounce words. They were so perfect in their, in their pronunciation, so they were very tickled that uh, they got to learn another language. Okay, next slide. <laughs> And this is their youth group. They have about 100, 100 youth. Um, but what happened is they had this big exam, so a lot of them could not make it. But a lot of this youth, well, at least, um, not a lot, um, at least about six of them hold master's degree. So these are the youth group. So sold out for Jesus. And uh, they had exams too, but they, they were there. Um, next slide. And this is Pastor uh, Raji, the bishop's wife. She was my main interpreter. Um, awesome woman of God, you know, awesome. And uh, next slide. And this is the pastors and leaders conference. You can see all of them. Um, Pastor, he has about, um, I think on record, 35 pastors and about 60, about 60 house group leaders. And um, and so this were, not all of them could come because they are, you know, um, f you know, financial reason and all that. So, um, so this is the, um, the pastor seminar that we had and I taught them IFGF values and uh, different um, um, teachings uh, from the apostle Chris Chan. Uh, and it was well received and uh, they were very happy with the teaching. So we thank God for the IFGF, all the people who have done the materials. Next slide. Next slide. Sorry? Yeah. Okay, um, this is the hospitality team that uh, they, do, they do the cooking, you see. Um, you know, in ministry, there is all kinds of um, things you can do. And I really want to thank... Um, um, brother Nick, you know, before we left, he gave us some money um, to, to use um, for India and also Malaysia. He said, As, you know, depend on which one I decided to do, um, uh, felt led to um, use, use some of the money to um, feed the pastors for the conference because they, you know, <laughs> they needed to be fed. So praise God, Brother Nick. Um, and then later on, he had... I will show you some of the another slide where we could use that money also to, to feed uh, the, the, the street children. Next slide. So this is the lunch, you know, um, the, the, the different uh, pastors serving one another, which is great. They, they, they didn't just sit down and wait for everybody to be served, but they serve one another. What a great spirit. Let's move on. And, and, and um, this uh, about... Before the pastor's conference, the Lord told me, to lead me to do a washing feet ceremony. And, um, and I, at first I was thinking, well, that's a lot of feet to wash, you know. <laughs> but, when, but we did it. It was so powerful. You know, when I look into, I still cannot forget the, 
the tears of the pastors when I start washing their feet, the tears rolling down their eyes. When I saw those tears, I began to weep because these pastors, they have suffered so much for the kingdom of God. And um, when I wash their feet, you know, the, every feet is so beautiful, so precious, because when I touch the feet and wash them, I begin to, to feel that bonding towards the, the pastors because I see that these feet have gone through very dangerous places, very hard places, and my tears just kept falling and falling. And I don't know if it ministered to them more or me, but it changed me completely that day when I washed their feet. It was such an honor to be able to wash the feet of these great servants of God in India. Next slide. And this is one of the ministry that we had. It's on a rooftop. And uh, Pastor Timothy is the one with me. And then Pastor Sunil is uh, with Gordon. Um, and this is on a rooftop. It is interesting to me, but a lot of the uh, churches, um, when they cannot meet downstairs, they have to meet on the rooftop. And this area was uh, m predominantly um, Muslims. And so when we walked to this place, you could see all the Muslims looking at us very intently. And it was quite tense. But we thank God that the pastors, they are, they are so, you know, so brave. They just took off and just worshiped the Lord as loud as, you know. And the people were worshiping Lord so loud. And I'm thinking, Lord, help us, protect us. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, I'm really amazed of that pastors. Um, you, and a lot of this um, group started with two or three people but it began to grow. So um, this group has about, I think, close to 30-something people. Okay, next slide. Um, this is a gospel meeting with Pastor Barnabas. Um, as you can see, we are out in the open space, and this village has a lot of snakes. So it's, it's a dangerous place to be in nighttime and outside but because there were too many people the church is so small so we're going to look at the next clip so you'll see how small the church is it's very tiny and it's made of thatch roof um it is very very tiny i can't i, I think it's like just this part this uh, area here that's that's small and they have uh, over 30 people too um so very difficult situation they're in, and uh, the pastor has to cycle all the way there, and it's very far, and it's dark, okay? So this is what the pastors go through, and um, let's go to the next slide, please. And uh, we got to minister in um, Bishop Sampson's um, school. He's a headmaster, okay? He's a headmaster, and uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, here we are so afraid to be, you know, uh, everything correct, you know, politically correct, and you, you don't say things. And here he is, come on, share the gospel. <laughs> and I, and so Gordon managed to share a little bit about the gospel. Um, next slide, please. And uh, this is feeding the hungry, and uh, and part of the money w went to feed them too. Um, this there have a lot of colonies of uh, p very very poor. I mean, I've never seen people so poor. Never. They were covered with dust, just covered with dust. They don't have good uh, cleaning water, no sanitation, nothing. And, and uh, you know, Bishop Sensen was saying that, you know, sh he wished he could feed them every day, but there is no, no way because, you know, they don't have that money because, that, you know, they have to take care of the pastors and just the widows. Um, 